Hi, good afternoon. I'm looking for Mr. Who are you? My name is Vanessa. I'm calling for the Division of Child Protection Services. Yes, I'm in. She knows now I'm recording you guys. I'm sorry? I'm recording you guys, just so you know. What are you I'm recording you guys, yeah, that's all. I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm just recording you guys, that's all. And what is the reason for? Just, that's what I do. Okay, so saying I'm not giving you permission to record me. Well, unfortunately, ma'am, I'm protected by the First Amendment, and I'll need your permission. Especially when you're working your official capacity by law, I have the right to video record you without your permission. Okay. You have to meet with you, uh, and your family and just meet over these concerns. Okay, you meet with me. What are your concerns? I'm sorry? You're meeting with me. What are your concerns? Okay. Can we come in? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. What is the, the resistance on it coming in? Because I'm like dealing with typhus. That's why. I'm like random people, strangers coming to my house. Okay. And Anna, uh, I know that... Sorry, what was your name again? Vanessa. Vanessa, what was your name? Marceline. Okay. Uh -huh. um, so we do have to that okay, well, who accused me of that? Unfortunately, I cannot disclose that. I've got in Well, I can't give you any more information either. I'm sorry? I said, well, I can't give you any more information either. So how would you like to do this? Get a warrant. Okay. So you will not comply with that? No. Problem. No, you're not going to give me any information. I'm not giving you any information. Who made the accusation? Okay. Who made the accusation? I unfortunately cannot disclose that. Well, that's it, ladies. Sounds very good. Thank you. Take care. You have a great day now. Not even a little bit. I will not comply in the slightest bit. When you come back with actual warrants signed by a judge, we're, we're then, not the police, so we don't well, come back with warrants. We can go take you. To, you know, we would take the family, litigate the case, and take it to court. Okay. Um, and the judge can grant an order, but it's good not luck. a warrant. Yeah. Good luck with that. Okay. I've done this for over 12 years with Dyfus. I know the ins and outs. With all due respect, I probably I was probably dealing with Dyfus before he even worked there. So, I'm very aware of how it works. I've been doing this a long time. So I record, I know all my rights. I do this on a regular basis. So, that's just what I do. And, you know, I don't mean to make your life harder. I'm not trying to be rude, disrespectful to you girls, but, you know, I make sure everything's done by the book, by law, and that's it. You understand? Okay. All right, hope you ladies have a great day. You too. How you doing today? How we doing? Been better. Did you uh, contact this, sir, or no? No, uh, uh, DCP and B did. The worker's right there in that van, sir. Okay, thank you. She, I believe she's coming out. Good. Sir, can you just wait over there for me? I, I, I'm sorry, I have to record this for okay. specific reasons. It's, it's, a, it's a conversation between me and her. You can record everyone while we're speaking with you. Okay. I, you're I, not part of this conversation. I have a constitutional right to record you, so. I'm, I'm staying out of your investigation. You're, you're there. Recording a private conversation. So there's no such thing as there's no expectancy of privacy in no, public, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There's no expectancy no, there of privacy so I'm in public. Right now as well. Okay, good. So when this, okay, when this that's fine. I know what I'm allowed to do, sir. Okay, you're wrong. Though. I'm not. I'm not wrong. Yeah, you are. I'm not. You're not recording a private conversation that you're yes, not. Yes, I can. No, you cannot. You're in public. No, we're not. There's no expectation of privacy in public. You are on a public sidewalk, sir. I don't know why you're going to make this more difficult. I'm, 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 I'm very well educated, sir. Please. How you doing today, sir? Hey, how's it going? Hey, sir, may I ask you your uh, name and badge number, please? Yes, uh, Castillo 292. Thank you, sir. 
Well, they're talking. Would you like me to uh, discuss what's going on with you? Hmm? While you're here, would you like me to discuss what's going on with you so you can get uh, uh, a little bit of an idea? I just got here, so uh, there's something with, um, I guess, uh, some state agency. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's DCPMP. Oh, okay. uh, it's an ongoing uh, issue I've been having for like the past 10 years. I have custody of my daughter. Well, the mother, uh, oh. yeah, the mother makes calls. Uh, this is the third call oh. that I've gotten in six months. And uh, I want to do welfare check. And at this point, uh, what I'm doing is I'm just uh, asserting my constitutional rights, not allowing anybody to see my kids come to my house, everything like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the reason why I, I was explaining, I explained to the uh, DCPP worker already, uh, the call was really for, uh, it wasn't for abuse or neglect, it was for educational neglect, which I have already, uh, we were able to show the, uh, show the worker an email with the school, that she's enrolled in school and everything else. So that should be enough to dismiss any kind of, uh, you know. Nicholas, right? Yes, sir. We're gonna start again, sorry. Okay. The reason why- Nick. I'll show there. The reason why is what she's providing is state confidential information to me. Okay, it's not to be out in public, that's why she wanted to go to I, I understand that. And the reason why I go this route, sir, is the reason why this has even gone this far okay. is because unfortunately with their policies, they're not allowed to disclose to me the information that I really need because I'm going to be working on a lawsuit. Understand. You understand? Yeah. So that's the reason why I even made it go this far. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I was saying before, we're here to just help make sure that nothing escalates or right. nothing, you know, we're just here to right. help them. And, uh, they have their policies and procedures, which, again, I can't speak for. Yeah. I get it. I, I've been dealing with this for 10 years already. I'm very well versed on this. And uh, what I was explaining is... Um, at least to my knowledge, uh, yeah. th this this lady here has not told me that it wasn't a uh, call for abuse, okay. neglect. It was educational neglect, which uh, we had already provided her with an email, and we sent it to directly to her email, uh, showing that she is enrolled in school. Okay. So that should be in itself enough to dismiss any kind of yeah. ill will or anything like that. Right, but we would still need to see that the two kids were right. there. Right. Well, well. Technically, no. I, we don't have to interview them. Like I said, I, I do have the Fourth Amendment right, which I am instituting right now. Okay. And uh, again, the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want them to end up closing this case before I'm able to go into the courtroom. Because once I go into the courtroom, now I have the constitutional right to face my accuser. So now they will have to legally disclose all the information to me. And I need that information disclosed to me so this way I am able to go forward with a lawsuit for harassment and everything However, else. You, know, you have the right to you know, pursue a lawsuit, that's your right. I mean, she's just here to speak again. Right. We can't force our way into your residence or right. anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. She has more information than we do. So if you just want to hear her out for what she's here for well, tonight. We, 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 we did, we spoke and um, we both kind of settled on, I'm not going to change my mind. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the jurisdiction to change her mind. She has her policy. She has her job to do. You know, we had a very cordial conversation. Absolutely. You know what I mean? We weren't yeah. being rude at all. I understand that she's here doing everything that she's told to do. She's doing her job. Okay. And, you know, that's all totally understood. And like I said, that's why I want to explain to you the reason why I'm doing everything that I am doing and the reason why I had to come this far to have you gentlemen out here and wasting your time when you could be doing something way more valuable yeah. than, than doing this. You know what I mean? But uh, that's pretty much where I stand right now. Okay. And uh, she was able to hear the kids running around and playing inside. She knows, you know, they're not in their fucking bed. You know what I mean? They're alive. And again, it wasn't it wasn't a call for you know abuse. You know the kids weren't being hurt. You know what I mean? It's not like it was anything crazy like that. It was educational uh, neglect. That is important to know, though. It could come in for something else, and it could be it, once you get in there, you don't know what. You're doing. So well, it was just us well, wanting to see that the kids well, were fine. I, I get it. Yeah. And again, and like I said, I just want to. Uh, you know, I want to assert my Fourth Amendment rights and uh, like yeah, and, and deny you guys you know, the right to see my children today. And um, hopefully, I'll get a court date soon, yep. and uh, this could be resolved. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna document this thing. I spoke to you. Yep. You said they're fine. You don't want to go in. She's here to check on this. I got her name and her contact, and that's it. Just so that we're here. Like I said, we got the information. We're just gonna document that we were here. We spoke to you. Right. Spoke to Is her. it possible for you to give me a copy of the uh, call number? Yes, we'll give you a case number. I said, I didn't mean to be rude. I just, no, no, I, I, I do this all the time, man. And like, like I said, they just have yeah. the confidential information. That's, right. That's why. And that's what I'm trying to obtain. That's why. You know what I mean? I and that's why I go. That's There's why. no expectation of privacy. I'm like, if I can get it now, if I'm able to get okay, that information okay. now, I'm like, okay, you know what? Whatever. Now we're done. That's what now I got the information I need. I understand. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's why I'm going to try to get the body cam footage now. That's why I need the case number. <laughs> you know? I, said, I, I told her, I've been dealing with this for so long, I don't even hire attorneys anymore. I just go into court by myself. It's, it's just, it's almost a waste of money because I already know what I got to do, you know? I said, what was your name again? I keep going to call you Vanessa because I've been so used no, to dealing with Vanessa. Andrea, I'm so sorry. Andrea. Andrea. Sorry. Thank you. 
I got so used to dealing with her. Thank you. Um, okay. Thank you. Like I said, yeah. you're able to, yeah. So do you need us to do anything else? You're good? I'll be looking up there. What was that? I think we're good. Okay. All right, thank you so much. You, 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 you did take down my cell phone number, right? I, I called you. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. Right. You guys good? Yep. Thank Gentlemen, you. have a good day. Thank you guys, both of you. All right. Have a good night. All right, guys, first and foremost, I want to say that this guy did an outstanding job and he's already been dealing with this for a long time. So he kind of knows to pull out his phone to record and he wasn't even being rude. I really like the way this guy approached all of this. I think we all can learn from him. And we also did learn some other stuff as well. For instance, there is a really high percentage of public officials, school officials making these complaints regarding Child Protective Services. Folks, you need to learn how to protect yourselves. No one understand that these agencies and installations can't survive if you know your rights. Now let's keep in mind that many of these government installations are there for a purpose. But the problem is, is sometimes you get bad people in government who don't want to do their job correctly, just want to make it seem like they did something for the day, and they really don't care who they throw under the bus. One thing I think you guys really need to keep in mind is the fact that they want to go inside these houses, your apartments, your homes, and they want to look for other stuff so that they could write down and find ways to take away your kids. Absolutely do not let them run around inside your house, folks. Now, I'm not saying, hey, bad parents, here's a way to get away. Absolutely not. We're talking to the parents who actually love their kids and don't want any government agent stepping in between you and your child. That's who I'm talking to. I understand these installations are there for a purpose. There are definitely bad parents out there, but we really need to hold these public officials accountable when they do a bad job. I don't believe that these public officials did a bad job. They did what they were trained to do, ask if they can go inside. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she was pretty honest when she says that usually when they go inside, they find other things right out of the horse's mouth, folks. It's important that you guys spot these things and know what's happening. Know your rights. And it starts by watching these channels. Go subscribe to NJ Accountability Task Force and let them know I sent you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well and hit the bell. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.